Okay, so now it's about time to wrap things up. Oh, yeah. Joel has been coding and coding for, what, an hour and a half now My fingers or so. hurt. His fingers hurt. He's been talking the entire time. My throat hurts. His throat hurts. <laughs> he's got a runny nose. I'm sure. That's because he's got a cold, by the way. Yes. I'm positive he's got to have made errors in the code. I am human. So what we're going to do in this video is debug it. Yep. Get, get the errors out. Get any errors get out. Get the errors out. And then what we're going to do is make sure it runs and brings in the uh, model that we showed you guys at the beginning. Right. So let's go ahead and compile this and see how bad I did. Yeah, it's going to be great. See, look at ah. that. Ah, no. Okay, I'll just see you later, Joel. All right, so let's just go through these. Let's work our way through them. All right, get count. Obviously, a spelling error. Capitalization. Capitalization. Case error. Case error. Case error. <laughs> uh, this one we need to actually specify the type of attribute. This this variable, if you notice, it's not even in existence at the moment. As you can see, it's not declared anywhere. So that's kind of a problem. Um, so what we're going to do is just do kfbx node attribute um, e attribute type. And so we have that. So this one's going to get fixed. This needs to be a capital K. Again, a case error. Um, let me see how much this removes out of our error list. All right, so we're getting there. Okay, we haven't defined I. All right, this one. I didn't even put in KFBX, so it's like it doesn't exist. That type doesn't like even what's exist. What's a K vector for? We yes. have no clue. So we need to change that to KFBX and KFBX2. Mm. And this needs to have parentheses in the end. Um, so let me go ahead and compile that. That should get rid of a lot of the errors. Oh, look at that. Hey, not bad. We're only down to a little bit left. Um, okay, this needs to be a pointer. Transform verse needs to be a pointer. This is in our draw code, draw object. Um, cannot convert, yeah, um, same thing. Get take info. Um, this needs to be, it's converting pointer to a reference, so that means this needs to be dereferenced. And this will fix itself as well, so... Wow. <laughs> all done. Not bad. Not if you'd bad like to see that in slow motion, just rewind and play again at half speed. <laughs> Not bad at all. Yeah, very quick. So now, what do we need to do to make this run? All right. I, I want to see uh, our uh, character. Uh, uh, this is easy. This is easy, right? Okay. okay. So uh, we, we include where's it at? Uh, we include the FBX okay. loader.h. Hey, where's it at? Yeah, it's almost there. Okay. We're going to change this to a K, um, our FBX loader. We'll just call this loader. We'll set this equal to null. Okay. Where's it at? It's almost there. Come on, you can you can wait. Okay. All right. So, and then inside of our init GL, let's go ahead and do our loader equals new. Well, new <laughs> FBX loader, and then simply pass it our scene dot FBX, which holds our final FBX file that we're testing out. Okay. And inside of draw scene, we're gonna call loader dink draw model dink and pass it SDL get. Um, if I just come up here, just because I tend to forget what this is. SDL get ticks. Remember, this returns the number of milliseconds. Um, we've used this many times so far. So How about we don't do right. that right there at first? How about we just have the model, just see the model? All right, so let me just set this to zero. And Yeah, comment that. Yeah, sweet. All right, so let's see if this works. Let's run it. Give it a second to load, because it is loading all the animation and everything. Ooh. <laughs> it actually works. Wicked. I mean, yes, of course it actually Of course it works. works. Yeah. I did it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, um, so now all we got to do is change that zero to the SDL get ticks, and then we're going to see some animation. Animation. Or at least we hope. Oh, we will. Hey. hey. Woohoo. Look at that. So at this And it's point, looping, as you can tell. At this point... We have a character that was modeled in a different application, yep. textured in a different application, boned, skinned, animated, brought out into the FBX format or exported to the FBX format, it, then import it straight into our own application. The data has now been massaged a bit and mm -hmm. stored into our own custom format so that we can at this point do whatever we need to with this character. Yep. Very very nice. Very nice. So if you're wanting to do some sort of 3D games, you've already got a significant start. Start, yeah. yeah, for getting your own models and animation into the game itself. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Anything you want to add to this, Joel? No, I don't think so. I'm just glad it works Happy so it works. Well. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of typing. You're over there just wiping the sweat off your forehead. 
Uh, as a reminder to everyone out there, uh, the FBX importer was definitely bonus content right. only. This was not meant as part of the OpenGL in-depth VTM series because the OpenGL in-depth series is about OpenGL. Right. We just thought this was kind of cool. Yeah. So we wanted to show you this just so that you would have some means of bringing animated items into your own application. Right. So with that, that's really going to bring this VTM series to a conclusion. I really hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. I hope you've learned a lot. You may have to go back and watch some of the parts a few times. <laughs> But, Joel, I also want to thank you for doing such an incredible job. No problem. Putting everything together. Thank and you. then typing like a madman for hours <laughs> upon hours. And with that, we thank you guys very much. And that's going to conclude OpenGL in-depth VTM series. Thanks again.